yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit uh, today about uh, CAE consulting. Uh, give everyone a little bit of a flavor of uh, what's what's possible and what's not, even though most it's it is all possible. So um, I'll start out with uh, uh, with a little bit about my background. I've got uh, 30 years of CAE uh, experience, uh, most of it in services and consulting. Uh, working with various different industries, medical and aerospace, and a lot in automotive and heavy equipment and uh, heavy trucks, uh, highway trucks and off highway. Um, so I founded K-Lynx uh, in 2005 as a uh, con FEA consulting uh, company. And uh, then we also went into software sales and support and training uh, with the uh, Simulia portfolio from Dassault. And so we um, we really had both uh, both worlds there, uh, software sales and services, which I think was a, a great complement and really uh, helped people uh, gain expertise. Uh, passions, uh, passion number one that I don't have listed here is FEA. Uh, so uh, I love doing uh, simulation work uh, and I love being part of uh, teams that are doing simulation. And I love working with customers that are interested in that and uh, the problem solving that goes uh, along with it. And it's really, uh, really great. Um, I've been kind of in a leadership role um, for a long time uh, and I really like uh, seeing uh, people reach their potential, especially when it's advancing tech, advancing their capabilities and technology and, and really seeing them grow uh, and helping that along. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, this right here, uh, this picture here was uh, a conference that was in Romania uh, and um, just happened to have that picture. So I'm presenting here and that's what I would look like if I was presenting uh, in person. Um, CATI's advanced uh, simulation team. Uh, like Kurt said, we were K-Lynx. We came to CATI uh, at the beginning of 2021 uh, in the hopes of bringing uh, CAE services to uh, CATI's huge um, customer base. Uh, we've been involved, like I said, since 2005 in various different industries. Uh, and right now, I think we have, uh, I think the number is right, 16 uh, simulation engineers uh, in the US. And that's a combination of uh, the uh, simulation uh, teams that already uh, existed at CATI before K-Links came in and the uh, CATI um, uh, engineers and then the K-Links engineers. So you can see some nice images here. We'll do advanced simulation on if we can, if it can be simulated, we'll we'll let you know and we'll try to simulate it. It's all physics-based stuff. So you look at um, optimization techniques for fatigue. That's this image that's uh, floating on, floating around uh, here. Uh, electromagnetics, uh, NVH, vibration, uh, impact and crash worthiness, CFD, fluid flow. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about methodology development and correlation and validation and optimization uh, in this talk, um, just because those uh, seem to be very important pieces uh, that we get involved with a lot with our um, with our customers uh, when they uh, when they want want to have services done. Uh, Here's a nice little picture of all those people that I was just talking about. These are uh, great engineers who uh, I'm, uh, I have the pleasure of working with. Uh, the simulation team of CATI, uh, some of the things that are important to us is, one, we want to stay abreast of the latest technology advancements. So working with CATI uh, on services, make sure that, you know, allow, make sure that you're uh, actually getting uh, the, the most advanced uh, technology uh, that, that you can. Uh, so our team, we love to derive solutions and provide recommendations. Uh, it's important for us to advance our customers' level of simulation methods, uh, not only just bring solutions for your products, but also to help you along in your, in your growth path uh, of using simulation. Of course, all of our, uh, all of us are, uh, we have sincere efforts toward quality and timeless and customer satisfaction. 
and uh, and really doing simulation services is is uh, is very exciting for all of us. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, the value proposition for uh, for outsourcing uh, CAE work uh, to CATI. Uh, so I'll just um, just go through some of these here, and then we'll dig in a little bit uh, into some of them. Uh, so you want to bring your products to market faster. That's one of the um, one of the mottos of uh, CATI is uh, we want to help our customers bring products to market faster. Uh, one of the ways that you do that is by employing virtual prototypes uh, so that you can test designs uh, quickly, uh, more quickly than you can do with physical test. And you can also evaluate lots of different parameters um, in the time it takes to do one physical test. Uh, so bringing products to market faster, uh, CAE and virtual prototyping and uh, you know, really makes is is uh, is something that will make that happen for you. Uh, you just have to adapt it into your into your design process. And we can help with that. Uh, another important reason uh, for using simulation is it increases your engineer's knowledge of your parts. So um, you will learn more about the physics of your products when you do simulation. You'll be able to dig deep into particular areas of interest. Uh, you'll understand why they behave the way that they do. And you'll be able to evaluate different design parameters and understand which ones are most critical to the performance of your products. So this, all of this together is kind of uh, more of a pitch for CAE in general. Uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody on the call right now understands the advantages of CAE. So with CATI, um, using our services, you have immediate access to one, our highly experienced simulation engineering team, uh, all the advanced simulation software that is necessary, and extensive computational resources. So um, you can't build it all at once in your company, and sometimes you need it right away. So with bringing in uh, CATI and having us uh, work on projects with you gives you that immediate access. Uh, why is that important? Because it can alleviate timing and quality concerns that you may have. Uh, and another important thing is, you know, it promotes continuous improvement. Uh, and you, we always want to get better. Uh, and we always want to have the advantage of uh, turning on resources that can help do that for us. OK, so uh, let's talk a little bit about um, reducing the risk of peak demands on your engineering team. So I know uh, a lot of times there'll be different programs going on at your, uh, at your company, and there'll be uh, peak demands uh, where maybe, maybe you guys already have a sophisticated CAE team, um, but you can't do everything, uh, and sometimes there isn't enough time. Uh, so CATI can act as an extension of that team. And the reason that we can do that is you, you already have sophisticated methods uh, and uh, procedures in place. We're a team that can talk to your CAE engineers uh, on the same level and understand your, um, your procedures and, uh, and standards, and we can comply with those and utilize us on an as-needed basis. So we're an extension of your team. We understand um, what's required of CAE in your departments. You guys have already gone through um, validation processes and you've got confidence in your procedures. We're the type of uh, company that can come in and um, and, and basically just, uh, just come right into your team uh, without, much, uh, without much training at all. So this is an example of, uh, this is a, a true example here of some peak shaving that we were able to do for a heavy equipment or a heavy, um, heavy truck um, uh, customer. They had all of these projects going on at once. We were able to come in and do specific tasks uh, and so that their, uh, their, their engineers were able to, to do their, uh, their typical work and we were able to take these peaks and, and, and work on it for them. Okay, so that's one example of um, of why it's important to um, uh, to outsource services. 
Another reason is uh, it's important to validate um, your models and build confidence in your models, right? So we, uh, I think, we we pride ourselves in being able to uh, to do that. So we can come in and we can uh, build models that will correlate to physical test, so that you can you can basically understand um, uh, and you can believe in your in your finite element models. Uh, so we can do that um, by. For example, here we've we've gone through um, building test specimens uh, for material characterization from the actual parts, cutting them up, making the test specimens, and then doing sample testing and, and building material models, uh, and also doing component level uh, tests. Uh, so in this example here, you see that we're we're trying to predict the failure of components, and in this case, it was engine mounts. Here we're, fail, we're we're predicting the failure of uh, of an aluminum mount uh, with a uh, drop tower test, uh, and we were able to uh, do that successfully. So that uh, we were able to use these types of uh, finite element techniques uh, in crash simulations uh, and understand whether or not the powertrain uh, was going to crack off of the uh, the frame of the vehicle. Uh, another uh, one here that you see is it's another drop tower test, and it's the rubber isolator in the in the mount. Uh, and sometimes there's the, the the deformation is is so extreme that the um, that the rubber will escape out of the cup. And uh, we were able to uh, we were able to predict that. Uh, and like I said. Everybody knows garbage in, garbage out, right? So if you can validate your models, uh, you can eliminate or reduce that garbage in, garbage out dilemma. And uh, CATI is very good at that. And um, we believe that that's something uh, important to bring to our customers. So kind of uh, along along those lines is technology transfer. So not only can we validate those uh, finite element models and uh, we can also create a specific uh, CAE methodology for maybe some behavior that um, that you don't know how to predict with CAE. We'll come in and we'll, um, we'll design, basically design a method uh, in CAE to predict certain things that are important to to, to your product. Uh, so we can do that uh, methodology development. And then um, if you guys are interested in bringing that capability in house, we can uh, we can add in, we can we can sell you the software and do the do the training and we can uh, transfer the technology uh, to you. So this here is a uh, example of a company that we did this for. It's a uh, it's just a seal um, for a, a shaft seal uh, to um, uh, you know for oil uh, in Greece. And there's there's complications in seals, right? So uh, run out is a problem, uh, and we're able to develop a uh, a situation where the shaft has a run out in it, so it's not spinning exactly on its axis and understand what type of pressure variations were occurring in the seal because of that. Uh, and then, so we were able to bring this uh, to our customer and now they do this type of uh, simulation uh, all the time on all their products. Uh, so this is another, uh, another way that you can uh, use CAE services uh, from CATI. So we've talked a little bit about um, about peak shaving uh, and uh, services on demand. We've talked about how we can help you uh, with uh, validating your models uh, to eliminate the garbage in garbage out dilemma. We've talked a little bit about how we can help you develop methodologies and um, and transfer that uh, that capability to uh, to yourselves. Uh, now I'm going to talk a little bit about um, another service that I think helps uh, that a lot of customers are not uh, using uh, as much as they could, which is optimization techniques. 
So we can make optimization uh, easy uh, for you. We can um, we can set up uh, simulations, finite element simulations, and put them into an optimization loop where we're modifying various parameters automatically. And uh, in this case right here, this is a, a parametric optimization where we've uh, defined this optimization loop using uh, a code called iSight, where we put abacus, we define uh, design parameters, we modify those parameters, it goes into the optimization code and determines how those what, what, what should change in those parameters, and then it goes back and, and runs uh, Abacus again on its own. So all automated, you just have to set up your objectives and your constraints and your parameters. Uh, and in this example here, we have a, a highly nonlinear uh, analysis of a foam bed uh, with some indenters coming down, trying to simulate different stiffnesses at different positions in the bed. Uh, because you'll need different position, different stiffnesses at your heel or at your head or at your torso. Uh, so in this case, we were trying to optimize uh, our design uh, based on various parameters like the thickness of these different foams, uh, the shapes of the holes uh, in the foam, and the different material types in the foam. So we had a target design, it's kind of like a reverse engineering uh, type project where we understood the behavior of a, uh, of a specific design. We started out with an initial condition, an initial design that basically had all these circular holes and a specific thickness associated with it. And we were able to um, match the deflection criteria from the target design um, with automatically modifying these parameters. And I think we ran this overnight um, with probably 150 to 200 different simulation runs that were all kicked off automatically from the optimization code. And we were able to take this initial design, which was way off of the target curve, and move that right onto the target curve, all automatically with parametric design optimization. So this is something, this is a, uh, basically optimization technique that we're very good at. Uh, a lot of our customers uh, don't use it uh, as much as they could. And so I think, again, this is uh, an important way where uh, services, CAE services from CATI can uh, really help you out. Okay, so I threw this one in uh, at, the, uh, at the end, and I, but I think it's a very good one. Uh, there could be a lot of uh, customers uh, that are interested in uh, design for additive manufacturing. We have a lot of uh, hardware uh, customers, a lot of 3D printers uh, out there at your facilities. Uh, you want to design uh, your parts uh, so that they're optimally designed for additive manufacturing. Well, we have the capability of doing something called generative design. We're very good at it. Uh, and it's based around uh, topology analysis, which is a type of optimization uh, that will position uh, material optimally from a specific design space. And we can do that with um, uh, allowing for um, additive manufacturing uh, constraints, so that uh, which are which are typically a little bit less uh, constrained than you would have with an extrusion or a casting. Uh, so we can come up with some really creative, um, optimally, structurally optimal shapes that can be, um, uh, that can be uh, produced uh, and 3D printed, uh, whereas they couldn't be with any other uh, type of manufacturing um, uh, process. So in this case here, we were just uh, designing a little uh, cell phone holder, even though I've got a calculator here. Um, it's supposed to be a cell phone uh, holder that you could uh, put on your desk so that you can talk to somebody and, um, and uh, put it in either different orientation. We have this design space uh, that we defined, and then we do structural analysis and the topology optimization actually whittles away the material uh, to find the, uh, and, and just leaves the most important material uh, remaining. And it does it with different constraints that you might wanna put on different objectives. So 
when we did that topology optimization, we then go to uh, the design and there's a lot of uh, freeform tools uh, that we can use uh, to, to smooth out uh, the FEA results and create something that is a, is a very nice design that can be 3D printed. I think there's, there's a lot of opportunity here. Um, I'd be uh, very interested to get, uh, to, to, to take a look at your guys' products and see uh, what we can do for uh, designing uh, optimal, uh, structurally optimal shapes uh, for additive manufacturing. So, um, so that's it. Uh, as far as uh, reasons to, uh, to outsource to CATI, and I, I'm not sure how we're doing on time, but I do have a little uh, case study uh, here. I think it's about three slides. I'll try to try to whip through this uh, here a little bit. This is a case study from one of our um, one of our customers called Brownability, and they um, uh, they make. Uh, wheelchair vehicles and mobility solutions uh, started in, I think, the early 1900s. Um, this, uh, and it's, yeah, you can realize that this is a very important thing. A lot of, a lot of handicapped people allows them to get around and uh, the idea of uh, helping handicapped people be more mobile is, uh, is it's, a, it's a, great, uh, a great thing to help help with great types of designs. So what we do uh, for them is they, they, were, um, they were interested in bringing CAE into their design process uh, because they have a commitment to um, advance their product uh, development process, right? So for all the, all the normal reasons, continuous improvement philosophy, they wanna optimize performance, customer needs are always first, uh, they wanna bring new products to market quicker. Um, so Ronability was like, well, how are we going to do this? What's one of the ways? So one of the ways that they believed would, uh, would help them uh, do this was to bring virtual prototyping into the design process. This will help them, as we've discussed already, gain more insight into the key design parameters, evaluate more options in shorter time, reduce physical testing timing uh, bottlenecks, uh, so virtual prototyping was identified as something very important for Braun ability to bring into the product development process. So, of course, what they what they felt the best way to do that would be to partner with CATI um, for the uh, reasons that we've uh, been talking about before. We have a dedicated team of simulation experts. We have best-in-class simulation software um, with the Simulia products and we have uh, unlimited uh, cloud computational power. So that's what they wanted to do. Their products are diverse, uh, so how are we gonna do that? Uh, so we had, to, we had to outline some big picture goals uh, with them because we're basically starting from scratch. Uh, so we reviewed typical product development process, we understand their design, we, under, we took time to understand their design and their manufacturing constraints and requirements. We studied uh, existing physical test results. And so we had to have a get to know the product type um, uh, learning process at the beginning. And then from there, we were able to kind of uh, take a look at where, where, can we, where can we provide immediate value? So we started looking at different um, CAE um, uh, workflows that were going to be able to be very impactful right away. And then so we built, uh, we started building CAE workflows and making them more and more advanced. Um, and uh, we have gone to the point where we're able to do full vehicle crash analyses. And this is an example of a rear crash. Uh, so we're able to capture uh, very important behavior and understand the structure for, um, uh, in this case, a rear crash, uh, where the fuel tank integrity is important and uh, the structure and um, also the occupant performance. And um, yeah, so we were able to, um, uh, were able to do that in, in, uh, uh, for them. So this is an advanced type uh, simulation very expensive to run uh, physical tests on. You have to go to a, um, uh, to a lab that is a qualified lab. 
uh, you have to ruin a vehicle, obviously, and you have to um, you have to get all that lab time and uh, and all the instrumentation and everything. So being able to perform uh, this type of uh, crash simulation uh, in an overnight run uh, really is uh, advancing. Uh, doing all the things that virtual prototyping is supposed to be doing for brawn ability. And um, I guess that's it. That's, uh, that's the whole talk here. Um, I really appreciate your guys' time. And um, I guess as it says right there, we empower the innovators. Uh, so we're looking forward to uh, taking a look at your, uh, your products and getting involved uh, with you uh, with CAE services.